to show that frictional force depends on the nature of the two surfaces in contact. 2. Compare sliding friction and rolling friction. Madam, explain the concept of friction and its types. Friction is the name given to the force that opposes the motion of one body sliding or rolling over another. The first mathematical description of friction was made by Charles Augustine de Coulomb in 1764. He proposed that friction could be classified as static or dynamic and said that the frictional force was dependent on the type of materials in contact. Friction is greater on rough surfaces than on smooth surfaces. Static friction is greater than dynamic friction which is much greater than rolling friction. Let's perform an experiment to 1. Show that frictional force depends on the nature of the two surfaces in contact. 2. Compare sliding friction and rolling friction. The materials required are a wooden block with a hook on one side, horizontal plane fitted with frictionless pulley at one end, thread, pencils, sandpaper, glass, pan and weight. Procedure Tie one end of the thread to the hook of wooden block and the other to the pan. Place the wooden block on the horizontal plane such that the thread passes over the pulley and the pan hangs vertically. Put some weight in the pan and gently tap the horizontal surface. Now increase the weight in the pan slowly until the box begins to slide. Note the weight in the pan. Repeat the above steps by placing the wooden block on a sandpaper and glass top and on rollers one by one. Observation The force required to move different objects on a wooden base, a sandpaper, a glass base and rollers is different. Serial number, base, force required to move the wooden block. 1. Wooden top 2. Sandpaper 3. Glass top 4. Rollers The force required for moving the block on sandpaper is maximum and on rollers is least. Result The sliding friction depends on the nature of surfaces in contact. The rolling friction is less than sliding friction. Do's Increase the weight gradually. Be careful while performing the experiment on the glass base. Don't Do not forcefully pull the pulley. Do not take a large block. Thank you, madam. This experiment has made the concept very easy to understand.